Thank you. So, did you get a chance to look over those financial reports I sent you? I actually did. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's the very hype. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I want to hear what's going on. What's happening? Uh, a lot. Okay. Um, That's good. Tell me about it. Uh, a lot good and bad. Oh. Um, you want me to keep it real? Uh, well, we talked about this. Mm-hmm. Honesty is number one on our list of everything. So, okay. So we shook so, on it. We shook on it. We did. We did. Mm. Okay. Right. Go ahead. Give it to uh, me. Let's see. How do I put this? Um, I think you are spending in excess. And at this point, you are investing quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit into your wants and definitely not enough into your needs. I'm not, um, it's not, something's not registering. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me try to put it another way. Do you have to go to Sephora every week? Let me ask you that question. Do I have to? Sometimes it's for spiritual enlightenment. Mm-hmm. Other times it's to get my skin completely together. And other times it's just to go ahead and cologne my body, make sure I look and smell great. Okay. Um, and then they started selling candles. You know I had to hop on that. You did? Okay. The child my middle name's a four. You knew that. <laughs> you know. And I'm not broke. Like I just like in the board of Sephora. And I don't know it. Cause that would make sense then. Probably so. Cause now that you say that, now the that financials you mentioned- aren't showing that is my point. Um, did you? Did you just call me bro? Some might say you're being a bit um, not irresponsible financially, maybe frivolous, or you spend at times frivolously based on what they could see. Frivolously. Yeah, or I mean, maybe a better way to put it would be at this point. You are spending outside of your means, or you are very quickly headed to being there. Wait a minute. Let me get this all the way straight. You. Yes, I. Decided to give my personal financial reports Mm -hmm. to someone who not only does your business reports, Mm -hmm. but your personal reports as well, too. Yes. How do I know this is not a biased situation and, and that this person is just coming out of stuff with their ass? And how am I supposed to believe that you have all the answers to this situation? I don't. And that's why upon me looking the first time, I was like, I should double check and get a professional's opinion. So I got a professional's opinion to confirm what I already suspected. You and do understand that I'm offended, right? Quite. At this point. I mean, you call me irresponsible. You said that I was frivolous, and you practically called me bro. You asked me for help. I I know what it is. Why are you? You have this very much so elitist way about moving through life. It's almost kind of like you put yourself on this pedestal, and everyone else is kind of just like looking up at you, trying to get you. Or did I build it myself? I'm sure you did, but that doesn't give you the right to sit on this high stoop and look down on people. I don't look down. I just look forward and ahead and above. I feel looked down on. So what are we going to do about that? Okay. Let's reset. Because I'm over here. Okay. We are talking about bringing our lives together. We are talking about being one. And with that we should be trying to be aware of where both of our financials are from the start. You asked me to look. I came here with a plan and a budget to try to help you improve this. I didn't just come to degrade you or talk down to you and I'm sorry if sometimes I make you feel that way because that is not my intention at all. I respect you as an equal and I look at you as an equal. I don't care about how much money you make but I do care about trying to help you and make sure that we're both living healthy financial lives and can live the best life that we can because I do want the best for you and myself at all times. I'm sorry, I won't settle for anything less. 
and I wouldn't want you to have anything less. So I want us to sit down, my account manager, and go over the full plan. And if you like it, you can try it out. Do whatever you want with it. It's your money. I, you asked me for help, and I'm just trying to provide you with the help that I have available. Honestly and unbiased. And I'm sorry if it came off as anything less than that. And I should be used better words. Okay. But you're not gonna use those words no more because they really have You're right, I won't. But you're not gonna go to Sephora every week. You're gonna go once a month. And not buy everything that you will buy in a month. You're gonna buy one of those things. Uh, ten of each. That part. Oh, it's on Jeff the system. How about this? I'll make it even better. Let's I'll go to Sephora bi monthly. Who that was hard to say. Mm-hmm. And I'll just deal as I should. We'll just we'll just no, go you're through life. Have an amount of like money. That. You're gonna have an amount of money that you know. If you overspend it, it's on you. The responsibility is on you. Okay. I'm just going to give you the information. But until then, our finances will definitely not be mixed together. I thought we was trying to get away from the disrespect. That ain't disrespect. I feel disrespected. That's not disrespect. Okay, well, you know how to make it I'm up. I'm just trying to be supportive. You know how to make it up. Make you know how to make it up to me. Okay, how about we just go fuck this day? Best friend, I'm here. Due to your request, I don't know why you requested me to come to Easton during this pandemic. You know, a pandemic? I had to be on a flight. First class at that. People are sneezing and coughing. I had to spray Lysol everywhere. You had me to come to Easton? Zero zone. This is the zero zone for COVID-19. And you requested me like I'm a servant. Like I'm your maid. What? Why can't you be in Easton? You didn't give me a hug yet. Oh, I am so sorry. I miss you too, best friend. Uh, what was what? that? What was what? That right there. Where? You just you just coughed out that mouth, out them lips. Kiko, it was allergies. Allergies? Yes. You coughed out them feet. Girl, give me a hug. Oh, back up. Give me, give me six feet. Six. Fine. Over there. It was only allergies, Kiko. Allergies? Sit down. Did, did, allergies is how you need to step in there. Come, come your head. Come your head. Come on. Oh. I don't believe that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Did you take a COVID nineteen test? It's free. Yes, I have. Are Are you sure? Cause I can, I can call my private doctor, and if I have to pay for it, I pay for it. You get in your car, I get in mine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. You positive? Well, not with COVID, but yeah, I'm I'm good. Uh, okay, but still stay over there, cause. Allergies? When have you ever had allergies? Kiko, I'm fine. Okay, so, yeah. How's Kali been? I'm still kind of shocked. You just called. I'm really shocked. It's okay. I think I've been traumatized. <sighs> but Kali, been lit. I've been busy, busy, busy. But Kristen had me doing A list client, B client. You know, I'll do Z or D or E, F, G. You don't have a man. What a man. I'll be doing hair, makeup, styling, hair designing. Bitch, you guess what else happened? Now you got fired. That bitch was sitting with one of the alien clients. That little slut. That bitch was busting it wide open. Oh, oh. Busting, busting wide open. Bitch, I help her pack your bags. Threw that bitch out on a curb, on a street. But anyway, what's real? Jabril! I'm back in East. I know you missed me. He's you never coming back, Kiko. What, excuse me? He's never coming back. What do you mean? You mumble. He went on a trip and he didn't come back. Please don't tell me y'all done broke up. Please don't tell me y'all done broke up. So yeah. where did he go? Do we need to go on this trip too? We didn't break up, Kiko. He's shitting. So where's our itinerary at? So we can get on this flight. You know I got credit. And we can just go. Kiko, he's dead. Dead? Are you like dead, like dead, you don't want him no more? Or six feet under dead? Like, 
On vend. C'est c'est. Six million. Oh, he's dead. Are you serious? So how's it going since you and Christian made up? Like I knew y'all would. Whatever. Because mm. you know it's like a fairy tale. A fairy tale. Yeah. Well, mm. it's one of those fairy tales that you kind of throw a little dirt on because I mean it's. It ain't squeaky clean, bitch. Okay. And, you know, it's, we had our ups and downs. Yeah, sure did. But we got on the better side of everything. We're having the conversations we need to have. Okay. We're having the arguments we need to have. So, you know, all was well. All right, so what else y'all been talking about? What's, what's going on? Well, I came to him for some financial advice, actually. Financial advice? What? Yeah. Don't tell me he going broke. See, I knew it was something about him. No, girl. Broke ass. I, wait, wait. I came to him for financial advice. You? Which means that I'm the broke old bitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm not broke per se. Like, it's just more so of a situation where I'm spending more than what I got. But what you spending? Oh, uh, hello. The sofa. Oh, okay. I mean, you did separate Furniture, the place. You think it's some of your stuff. My rent. Okay. My nice upkeep. I mean, what do you mean? Well, okay. You got some new shoes. Okay. New hat. But still. Okay. So what's the problem? You know, what's the problem with you? You still salty about the job situation. Ain't First of all, I'm just saying, you about to marry this man, he's your fiance. What's going on? Why mm. Why is it a problem with your finances? You yeah. shouldn't be having a financial problem. You're starting problems. to look like a salt shaker at this point. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I, I really, I'm still pissed. Okay. I'm pissed, livid, okay? And I have every right to be. Okay. Why do you have a right to be pissed about a situation you fucked up? Okay, yes, I fucked up, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't you know I just had to pick up a job as a receptionist? I am behind my rent. And, okay, you know, I can be a woman about the situation. Mm -hmm. Let's clear that. I'm a woman about it. I fucked up. I shouldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. Christian could have had a little bit more empathy for me. Like, I get it. We're, we were still friends. It was just, okay, I'm working for you and we're friends. You just gonna let me go like that? You know what? This is why I did not want you guys working together it's in the not first place. Listen to me, Naya. Every time you have a personal connection with someone and you guys go into business, it always goes left. No. Every single time. Yes. It's this not, is a prime no, fucking example. Not, what are you talking about? It's not. First of all, that's seeing you and I are friends. We get a new job together and something happens. I'm still going to have your back and make sure I protect you if I'm your boss. Okay. He just let me go. So you're salty and you're in denial. How about this? I think what you need is a sugar daddy. A very sugar generous daddy? one. Mm -hmm. No, I don't need a sugar daddy. I just need a good man okay. that's generous with money. That's what I need. I don't want no sugar daddy. I just want a good, wholesome man. Oh, there are a lot a of nice, fine, good men. Good looking sugar daddies. I mean, I, I hate that the whole idea behind a sugar daddy is oh, he's old and crusty. Girl, you can find somebody young who will throw you a couple of stacks. Well, I ain't find him yet, and I'm behind my rent. So he need to, I don't know, pull some strings for me then. Okay, well, you know you, what I need. Listen, at the end of the day, you just need to take a little clothes off or something. I mean, you know, only fans is a thing now. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I should try that. Yeah, Not girl, you got the fans. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I could pull some strings or something. You know. You might want to go. Change. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I do need some income. Okay. But you gotta chill out on talking about my man like this. I mean, even your tone. You're just upset. Like, you're just mad. You really think I, I deserve to be fired? I think you did bust your ass for the job. Work hard. He don't know what the hell he's doing with these clients. But you also busted open at the job. I was on break. I wasn't even on the clock. So, technically, that's a little suit. You was on break. That's a lawsuit. No, I was no, even no, no, no. You was on break. You went into this man's studio session. I was on break. Girl, look. At the end of the day. I don't know. Well, Christian is actually on his way here. Oh, God. That's my cue. You trying to leave again? Yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to see you. Okay. Well, I mean... There's no need for you to leave now because he should be walking in any minute. <laughs> All right. Best friend, how is this possible? What happened? 
being at the wrong place at the wrong time. And Kiko, so much has gone on. A few people know, but I plan on telling everybody. The wrong place at the wrong time? But this is the bro we talking about. What happened? So much has happened since the last time we've seen each other. And I know. I just have to be strong. You have to be strong. And as your best friend, I'm going to be here for you every step of the way. But you got to tell me what happened. How did it happen? Did he get shot, stabbed, thrown over a building, burned in a car? Something. You have to tell me. I've been praying. I've been praying to God to tell me something, but I, I just been getting silence. I don't know. Okay, maybe you've been in denial. That can happen to someone when a person died unexpectedly. But I'm gonna be here as your best friend, but I know you. Something happened, and something that you're not telling me. So please, as your best friend, no matter what it is, I'm going to be beside you, no matter what. Thank you, Kiko, but for now, I, I really just want you to just sit here with me. Okay, um, I'm gonna sit with you. Little sporty spice thing you're doing. You know, I'll do what I can. I wanted to switch it up for you. It's hot, man. It's hot. Is it giving trade? I wanted to give trade. Um, it gives trade. athleisure. Close enough. Yeah. In the pictures, it'll work. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, but in real news, um, okay. we may have to leave a couple days early because this new client that I signed. Oh, new you, client! You probably remember him. You work with him a bit. Um, oh. a guy in San Francisco. Yes, oh, yeah. the one I scouted, and I vetted pretty much. Um, I found set up meetings. Well, congratulations upon my instruction. Yes, you did, okay. and I appreciate you for doing that. Um, yeah, he's just providing to be a little bit more difficult than I thought he would be. Mm -hmm. He is particular. Most are, but he's a little bit more than some, and you know he's got so much potential. Okay, oh, yeah. he was just focusing in and yeah. stop being no. Caught up in the bullshit and stuff. Mm -hmm. He may need a woman's touch. Just saying. Yeah, he might need just a professional's touch. You know. Yeah. Oh, maybe a professional woman's touch that knows what she's doing. Yeah. Okay. And okay. that's why we're looking to hire a professional woman. Ooh. Um, for the business, a new a new person to bring on. But nevertheless, yeah. Good luck with finding that. It's not gonna be hard. Oh, it will be. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, we may have to leave early to try to deal with that. Okay. You just um, sitting there. You know what? You're a flick. A flick. You're a fucking flick. You don't know how to handle business. I don't know how to handle you business. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. But I've been in business for how many years? It doesn't matter how long. Successfully. Managed some of the top successfully? artists. Successfully? Yes, successfully. Okay. Managed some of the top artists out. You managed, but who got them for you? Those clients that I pulled in? You only been around how many I months? I've been around how many years? But we just heard of you. No, you just heard no, of me. No, we just heard of you. Okay. Okay. All right. Time out. No, Time no, out. Because Time she's immature and she needs to grow up. And you're a coon. I'm a coon. Okay. A coon when I hire your black and ass. And I got black people and people of color all working. That means me. nothing. Yes. Just because you have black people working in your, your business. Oh, she, she needs hey. boundaries. <laughs> boundaries. Both of you guys need to chill. Boundaries. Listen. I am. <laughs> to me. No, you listen. Nah, you yeah. We'll be here all the time, even when your black ass leaves. I'll be here. I was here first, and I'll still be here. Period. What a job or without it. Okay, 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 okay. It's my turn to talk. Because, I mean, I do own this place. Okay. Of which I saged the fuck out of before y'all got here. So I will not be breaking up the peace that I created in my home. Naya. Since you were the one with the most digs in this situation, you need to take a breather. So you might need to leave. Me? 
Yes. I'm not doing Please. this to put you out. I'm just doing this because I know you. And I'm not trying to lose out on any of these expensive furniture pieces wow. that you okay. attempted to throw. So I need to leave it. He can just say, yes, he can say what he wants to throw shots down. at me. You need to calm down, don't you? Please don't take it the wrong way. Well, how about I never come back? How no, about no. that? And you flip them off, like. <clears throat> okay, um. How did he die again, best friend? Did Was he sick or something? No, he wasn't sick. He wasn't? Okay. Was he poisoned? No. Okay. Was he... Did he get jumped? Best friend, you have to tell me something so I can protect you. I need to know everything. Keep I promise you, you will know. Just, okay. just sit with me. I'm going to sit with you, okay? <clears throat> sit with you. Sit with you in silence. Silence! Silence! Silence. Just silence. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. A coon. She called me a fucking coon. Are you serious? She had the audacity. Eh. Do you know what I mean? Oh, she she was good at her job and stuff, but she made a lot of fucking mistakes. And at the time, she was pretty damn incompetent. All right. So why did you wait until something got so big to fire her? You could have fired her any other time. Cause she's your friend. She, like I said, she was good at her job or whatever. She's cool, but the drama that she brought didn't always outweigh the benefit, okay? Christian, we went through this when you hired her. I told you that this would be tricky because it's literally mixing business with pleasure. Then you turn around and fire my best friend for mixing business with pleasure. To the max. She didn't just mix it, she mixed it in a studio with cameras, with my artist, in front of all these other people and got caught. She didn't just mix it, she mixed it well. Christian, let's just talk about the logistics of the situation. What actually motherfucking happened, okay? You decided to hire my best friend, putting me in a very, very weird position. I was doing you a favor, to be honest. Okay. You thought doing me a favor was hiring my best friend and then firing her? Well, yes. You were working. You were trying to grow and take yourself to the next level. Why not give your friend an opportunity to be on the next level and inspire you and both y'all can be successful and be popping? I don't get it. Doesn't everybody want to have successful friends that are doing big things? And that is that a leadership. That's that, what? Yes. That's elitist. How? Because you are sitting here saying, oh, well, I think that you should be around these type of people and that type of That's people. That's not what I said at all. It's your whole demeanor. It's your tone. And okay. everything. You just close off to everything that I have to say now. Listen. But your body isn't. You have to be extremely receptive of everything in order for things to work efficiently. Christian. You guys just really need to just talk. And I feel like you should make the first step. She's immature and she needs to grow up and learn some boundaries in her personal life and in her professional life. Listen, all of this was due to a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, and you hurt her feelings. She hurt my feelings. She hurt my business. But the business is still thriving, right? Yes. And you just signed another artist, right? Yes. But it could have gone all gone down the drain. But it didn't. She needs to learn it a lesson. It did not go down the drain. And she needs to learn a lesson. Okay. So what have you learned in this whole situation? What do I need to learn? You need to learn to calm down. To be more chill. And not to mix business with pleasure and then turn around and fire somebody for mixing business with pleasure. You have to be more understanding, babe. Love you, babe. 
I guess I could calm down first. It hurts sometimes to definitely calm down. Yes. Because she can't talk to me like that. Especially if we're going to do any kind of work together. She so can't be working con- for me doing that. You're considering hiring her. No, I didn't say that. That's what it sounds like. We're going to sit down or whatever. Um, hit her up, I guess. You and guess. we'll talk. You guess. My thing is, I like working with Naya. Everybody loves working with Naya. She's probably one of the best assistants I've had. And she has so much potential. But, you know, some of this extra stuff, got to cut it out. And I should speak up more and not ignore the other things. If okay. I really want to teach her or groom her into being my protege. So, All right. I will take the first step and apologize. And see if I want to give her her job back based on what she says. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like you didn't calm down now, so I guess I can kind of move in. So. Move in. I just didn't want you to choke me out. You, you like it when I do that. Right. Anyway. So, well, you got to make like it. Right. Snatched up. Mm-hmm. Oh, too sure. See, I told you. I wasn't able to get the key to the first hotel room, but I got the key to this one. You did, and I'm impressed. And I'm going to be waiting for Winston when he walks through that door. Because I will get my answers. I won't be here. I don't think we could be in the same space just yet, but I'm glad you're here. After that encounter with Brandon, I got to find out what's going on. And I got to find out how Winston is somehow looped into all this. They're going to fuck with me. I'm going to teach each and every one of them a valuable lesson. You can bet that shit. Nobody fucks with family. No, they don't. Um, quick question. What? This t-shirt. Oh, this is awesome. This is from the uh, Black Lives Matter LGBT rally I went to. The designer was out there. He was giving them out. And, you know, I'm an ally, so. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. pretty good, you know. It's nice. <laughs> I like it. But honestly, I am glad to see that, you know, you came around to seeing that I was right and Winston was up to something. Well, I believed you all along, and yes, you were right. <laughs> I appreciate that. I just mean, it feels good, you know? Feeling like you're treating me as an equal, taking my opinion seriously, and I'm not one of these little underlings of yours. There, I said it. <laughs> I but take no. you seriously. Stop it. I know. I'm telling you that I appreciate it. Oh, so, I'm I feel it. There you go, sir. Take this. Um, what is this? The doctor increased your dosage because you complained about pain. Mm, I think I'm alright for now. Do you want to fully recover or not? Yes, I do, but I also don't want to be addicted to drugs in the process. What do you mean like Brandon? <sighs> what is this pill anyway? I don't understand what's on it. And how do I know it's not making me feel worse? Not how we feel. The other pills make me feel fine, okay? Would you just do as I ask? Maybe later. Jabril, take the pill. Thank you. Um, I'm getting comfortable. Can I get some privacy, please? Oh. And what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm joining you. Is that a pro? Not tonight. Okay. Why do we keep playing these games? We both know we feel the same things. Yeah, but I still think it's too soon. Maybe if we got a change of scenery left out of here or something, maybe I could start to reciprocate the feelings that you have for me. Okay. I can do that. 
What you don't, you're messing with the pillows the way I like them. <sighs> you lied to me. <sighs> Look, I'll take it later, okay? How are we supposed to be in a process of building trust when you're being deceptive? Says the man who has kept me here for weeks with armed guards at the door. And you keep feeding me all this bullshit and you think I'm supposed to be okay with it? I am also the man who saved your ungrateful life. Take the pill. Clay, let me tell you something. I do value you. I mean, although my value for men are at an all-time low, I honestly care about you. And I know you care about me. You know, you've been there for me. I've been there for you. And besides, I need a strong man by my side. We should get married. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Oh, stop playing. <laughs> Don't chill with that. You know the um, commitment that I would love from you. So please. Don't. So what's your answer? To the serious question of... We should get married. Like, you should marry me. <laughs> so this... So you're proposing is what you're saying. No, I'm just right. telling you that you should marry me. Okay. I like that. You're just telling me that I should marry you. Mm -hmm. um, so what you're saying is you want to spend your life with me and... How many ways can you say it? You should be my husband. Which to you is what? I want to make sure that we mean the same thing. That you want to live the rest of your life with me. That you think I can make you happy. That I can make you happy. So if you want to get married because of those things, then 100%. You can take the proposal. I'll give you that and I'll get the ring. But um, I just want to make sure that you want to be with me for the rest of your life and all that other corny stuff. Are you nervous that's why you're dabbling? Well, I mean, yes, you definitely know. Just... <laughs> Wait, but I gotta buy my ring. That too, you would take? <laughs> I don't want you coming through with some rinky-dink ring. I now, need the ring. Up. You know what, you... <laughs> just because I don't okay, spend okay, money okay, doesn't okay, mean that okay, I don't have okay. it. You will get the best. Where's my phone? Where's my bank account statement? God damn it, Fallon. So we're getting married? We are getting <laughs> married. Oh my God. Only you. <laughs> I probably have... Oh, come here. I was shocked. But happy to hear from you. So, why did you call me? I called you, right? Well, I called you. Look, there's a lot that's been going on. And even though I can't really talk about it right now, I do know that life is too short. And it's important. So, I want to say that I truly forgive you, and I want to move forward. I'm a little taken back, um, but I'm grateful that you found me in your heart to forgive me for everything that's been going on. We're brothers, and I, I know we haven't had the best relationship, but I, hope. I just want to forgive and have a clean slate. I'm down for that. Brandon, you're my, my only brother. The relationship with you is very important. To me. And I've been doing a lot better. Now, moving to my own place, meeting new people, and building new friendships. And just, I'm just thankful that you want to give me another chance.
But there's one thing that has to happen. I'm gonna be right back. Hello, Winston. Fallen. How did you get in here? Have you forgotten that I'm the one that taught you how to break into places you couldn't get into? Hmm. It's nice to know that my little brother still has a soft spot when it comes to withholding information from you. Hmm. Hey, Ms. Lawyer. Sadly, I can't say the same thing about you. You've come all this way to see me. You must be here for something important. What did you want? Are you fucking Brandon? Excuse me? Why would you ask me something like that? He made up some crackhead story about Chadwick still being alive and taking Jabril's life. And then, oh, you want to know the kicker? The great part? You confirmed that Jabril was dead. Fallon, I'm very sorry. Sorry about what? It's true. You're lying. Why would I lie about something like that? Well, I can think of a million reasons why. <laughs> Only one person can resurrect from the dead. And that's Jesus. So come again. Look, I know this may be very difficult for you. You just found this out. And it's hard to process, but this pained me just as much to deliver the information to Brandon. Miss me with this bullshit. Now you and I have been to hell and back, but we got past it. But you recruiting Brandon is an all-time low. That's beneath you. Listen, I brought you here because I want to make things right and move forward, okay? Make things right and move forward with yes. what? I want things to be as peaceful and copacetic as possible, okay? Peaceful is only us here. Yes, you look good, so act how you look. What the fuck you supposed to mean? <clears throat> remember, remember what I said like about, I look. Remember what I said about being peaceful? And remember, I said, give me six feet. Back up. Give me fucking six feet. Have it. Hey, August. No! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm Put the shoe on. Put the shoe on. Put the shoe on. Calm down. I am calm. This is my calm look. Yes. My calm no. look. Well, calm, yes. Okay. You're a lady. I'm calm down. I'm a lady. Yeah. So I should act like that, right? Right. Okay, I'm going I'm to act like that. There we go. See? We good. You should feel it. Sit down. I was listen. sitting. I was sitting. Listen. Sit. Listen. Okay. August. Okay. I'm listening. August, August has changed. Change, he's change. He's a better man now. Change how? And he's changed. He go. And listen, I, I want it. I want you to find it in your heart to forgive him. My heart? Yeah, that. that this one? Yeah. My heart. Forgive him. Forgive him. Right. I gotta think about it. I mean, are you sure? Should we give or just be this? I think. Are you sure? Oh, I, oh, I. So, what did it say? Well, she said, "Fuck him up, Kiko. Forget him." Okay, do so you remember we was on your kitchen floor and guys? <laughs> Okay, then most you. Okay, then most you. In gasoline. <gasps> and he's stuck with my father. Did I beat father at that? I'm actually not dating Kevin anymore. Excuse me? Who asked you to open your dick beater sucker lips to me? Matter of fact, answer this. How did you heal that after that ass whooping you got? What? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> There's proof. Jabril is dead. What? Did Brandon promise you part of Baron's fortune if you killed him? I would never kill Jabril. I've dedicated my life 
to this fresh. I would believe that if it was five years ago. But everybody knows that you are the most self-serving person in the world. And especially the one that I ever met. You used to love that about me. Well, I used to love Clint too. You see what that got me. Must I remind you that it was me getting my hands dirty all these years to keep yours clean? If it wasn't for me, you would be rotting in prison. So what are you saying? I should be grateful? Well, karma does always come back around like a boomerang. While you were out getting your hands dirty, I was home setting up my insurance policy that incriminates you for times like this. Fallon, you would really sell me out. After you chose Ashton over me, I saw you for who you really were. And I promised myself that I would never let you get one up on me again. Because I always knew. Your family lost this time. And I would suggest that you run home to Brandon and begin planning a funeral. You better not show your face. Or I will make you regret it for the rest of your fucking life. Aggressive. Mm. It was nice of you to stop by, Father. Why don't you show yourself out? Talk I showed myself in. You look good, brother. I like that hair on got you so confused. You just don't know what happened to you. Mm. Again, what are you talking about? Um, you don't remember him crawling in front of my dad's place. His little dippy ass, bloody, ribs hurt, bleeding everywhere, swollen face. <laughs> you don't remember that? Yes, but uh, how do you know about that? Um, I did it. <laughs> I had someone to tell you. The <laughs> drink. Kiko, really? Part three, like one, two, three. They were so big and muscular. Sexy, too. Yeah. Really? You, you know, think? Uh, all this time, I thought it was. Clint? I thought it was karma hitting, getting me back. I thought it was the universe paying me back for the shit I did to you guys. Yeah, karma, boom! I'm the universe. Just like a pink with glitter sprinkled all over it. I'm the motherfucking universe. Just came right around, fucked you up. Boom! Yeah, so it wasn't Clint, it was me. Well... <laughs> what? Do you think I was gonna let him get away? I was trying to kill her? Me? Gasolina or X, my best friend? I'm gonna tell you, you're my bitch! I mean, no, I'm your bitch, you're my nigga. I'm your bitch, bro. Say that shit! I'm, I'm happy to know that it was you. I feel like somehow we're, we're even. Even? <laughs> How do you think that? You're still alive. You're not dead. <laughs> So I'll have an even. She's doing right here in front of me. So, I'll have an even. Can, what? Can you please, I need your heart to forgive me. Uh, wow. My heart again? That situation? Yes, do y'all have to go talk or do something? I didn't mean that. Chico, I would, I would really. I appreciate you giving me another chance. I'm, uh, I'm not the same guy that I was. You're not the same guy. You sure did look like it. Okay. I'm not. Oh, you're not? And I can prove it to you. Kiko, are you going to forgive him? Is that a, a, a tone you're using with me? I, just come on. I can second that. I can see you Bye, y'all. Look at this. Look at this beard. Great. Yeah, I can tell him. Uh, you can't? No, you can tell. The look at the man. She said bygones can be bygones. Yeah. Girl, I heard a lot of Um, okay. To make it like disappear. How much money you got in your account? I did see this bag in Neiman's. <sighs> you just give, like, wire me, like, 2500 Oh, I'm gonna make it disappear. I forget what? Listen.
So you're fucking Winston. <laughs> Out of everybody in the world is you. The jig is up, Jabril. Wake up. Jabril, wake up. How did you get here? Hmm. Are you in this with Winston? Your little plan failed. I saw straight through Winston and Brandon's lies. So whatever it is you have going on, I suggest you back off. Plan? What are you talking about? Oh, clearly you're supposed to be dead. So I guess Chadwick is hiding in the closet. Uh, clearly I'm alive and so is Chadwick. He stole my life. Yeah, Brandon and Chloe tried their best to convince me that you blew up in some big explosion. But I thought about it. A lot that big? You must be planning on cutting me out of something. Wait, Brandon told you I was dead? Yeah. Honey, and clearly you need to get you another partner. Because he can't cut it. No, Winston told me that he spoke to Brandon. He expressed how happy he was that I, well, Chadwick was going. None of y'all can't seem to get your story straight. But I got what I came here for. So you can just have a good time in your little love nest. Wait, wait, where are you going? What? Take me with you. How does what's been done to you? You can get up and walk out the door. What's wrong with you? If you don't open your fucking eyes, I'm a prisoner. Now get me out of this room before he comes back. Well, where are your clothes? I don't know, though. Once we get back to Easton, we can figure all this out. I need to get the brand in there. Easton? You have lost your mind. We are in Easton. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I cannot let you take your brew out of here. Winston? Just let us go, and I promise not to kill you. You were really holding Jabril hostage? No. He needs my help. He's not well. I don't need you for shit. I begged you to take me home. And I will. Eventually. When? You already told Brandon he was dead! Is that what he told you? You can stand there and play those games with other people, but I know you're not going to stand here and play those games in my face. Now move so we can go out the door. Jabril, tell her she is mistaken. He wants to be here. I never said that. But I've been caring for you and you were caring for me and we were- What kind of sick bullshit is this? <sighs> he is trying to recreate some sick fantasy with us and I've been playing along just to stay alive. You really want to be with someone who's been fucking your cousin for months? So Chadwick was alive? Yes. Dead. Oh, this is too much for me. This is too much for me. Fallon, if you take Drew out of here, he will strip you of everything. No money, no job, nothing. Are you willing to take that risk? I don't want anything from her. That is a lie. Because you told me your plan to oust Fallon using Brandon's power of executor. Is that true? No, I don't want anything from you. Fallon, I'm doing this for you too. Hmm. You know he wants so ownership. And the only thing standing in his way is you and Raven. Don't let him do this. He is desperate. Who are you going to believe? The brother who hates you? Or me? I'm on my own side. Now I need you to move out of the way so we can leave. Thank you. Let's know you will regret this. <laughs> you will come crawling back to me, Fallon. You always do. Jabril! Jabril! Out of all the stunts Dad pulled, this thing right here with Chadwick was epic. Epic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I guess I can take a sigh of relief knowing that it wasn't you who actually put a gun to my head. Ooh, that was crazy. Um, That was actually me. Not one of my proudest moments, but just felt like I needed to defend my husband. By killing me? I wasn't going to kill you. I just wanted to scare you. Well, it worked. Hmm. And why would you torture me with those DNA results? Why would you do that? I mean, I just want to let you know in advance that I know everything. Look, 
I just wanted to hurt you. So, I know I needed to take away the one thing in this world that you loved most, and that was being a dad before. <laughs> well, I want you to know that Mason knows the truth as well. Well, I don't regret that part. But, I do regret doing that to you. How is it that we've done everything to try not to be like that? And we're just like him. Now, gotta deal with the ramification of whatever Chadwick did. This is all some crazy karma payback. Mm. I gotta ask you, Jabril. How could Brandon not have known it wasn't you? Brandon. This this can't be real. Yeah. I must be tripping. No, you're not. I'm here. I'm here and I'm never gonna leave you again. But this can't be real. Winston said you were dead. An explosion? A, a fire? I can't even talk right now. None of that shit happened. Well, Chadwick revealed himself to me in Brazil and had me kidnapped and brought on a plane back to the States. And Winston was following his footsteps and found me when I was in bad condition. He took me and I've been recuperating the last couple of weeks. And I'm guessing he just wanted you to believe I was dead. So, he's working with Chadwick? Yes, I, I don't know, maybe. I just know they had some type of deal that went wrong. But Winston is mentally ill. And I just had to play along with his sick game, but I wanted to kill him the whole time. But I know I had to just play the part so I can get back to you. But why? I don't know. How did you get out? Valent. I tried to tell her the truth. Well... What I thought was the truth, she just laughed in my face and accused us of trying to work against her. Well, whatever you said made her want to find Winston and she found me in the process. I had to convince her I wasn't staying here against my will. And like I was playing some sick game with her or something. I just never would have thought in a million years she would be the one to find me. Jarrell tried to tell me. He knew Winston was hiding something. I feel stupid. Don't. Don't feel stupid. Winston played with people's emotions. He saw your desperation and used it. So, he just let y'all go? Yeah. You weren't scared? No, he's not gonna hurt me. You were held hostage. Why would he just let y'all leave? He's gonna retaliate somehow. He's not going to hurt me. Look, hurting me will go against my father's memory. And... His allegiance to my father borders on manic behavior. Did he hurt you? Not physically, but I do need to get checked out for these drugs that are in my system. Drugs? Yeah, he had me taking some pills from a doctor that was supposed to get me well, but I doubt they were even FDA approved or some black market bullshit. They just kept me drowsy and weak the whole time. He wanted that. Yeah, but his plan didn't work. And when I'm 100% recuperating, I'm going to hunt him down and finish what he started. I'm going to help you. No, you're not. I need to handle this myself. They stole my life. They stole from us. Yes. And we cannot stay in this house. As long as my cousin is out there, we got to get out. Chow, it's dead. What? How? <sighs> Jarrell killed him. Jarrell beat him to death after he overheard him bragging about tampering with my brakes. 
He tried to kill me. That night, Melanie asked to use my car to pick up Noah. She got into a car crash and Noah got killed. So Winston was telling me the truth. My brother really did kill someone. And I can't even blame him for that. This is all my fault. How? I mean, I must be like my cousin. How else is he gonna be in this house for months? With my face, and no one noticed. No one. We did notice you. Well, him, he was reckless, cold, dark, and had no feelings. No one knew what to do, but we knew something was wrong. I never thought you could be someone else. I mean, I know I'm closed off, but can you explain to me how a sociopath can just pretend to be me? Be in this house? Sleep in our bed? Did you have sex with him? No. Did I want to? Yes, I did. He had your face for crying out loud. And your mannerisms. I knew something was off. Very wrong, but I just wanted it to be right. I thought Baron's death was the reason why you changed. So, when did you realize it wasn't me? Chloe figured it out, and together we told Jarrell. We had a plan, but Jarrell... Who knows? Just Chloe, Jarrell, and Winston. What? He only knows that Jarrell killed him. He doesn't know where the body is. Come on, he can still find out. No, he can't. We moved the body twice. Only me and Jarrell know. So... You and my brother moved the dead body? Listen, you just got home. You don't have to worry about that. How? Jarrell is involved in it. Fallon now knows. She's going to ask her own questions. If somebody finds Chadwick's body... No, they won't. Me and Jarrell made a pact. He's my brother, too. You just got home. Don't burden yourself with what we did. I'm your husband. How am I not supposed to? We just passed the biggest test ever. Nothing or no one is going to break us up. Look at me. Listen, I promise you, we're together forever. I love you so much. You hear me? I love you. So, why am I here, Logan? Well... Uh-uh! Uh-uh! Where do you want to go? What? Well... Girl, is there my damn cake knife? I'm just saying, the last time I was here... Is she crazy? There were some words, and I gotta defend myself. I felt attacked. Well, the attacked. last time you was here, you probably was also taking a goddamn ah. knife. Give me this motherfucking knife. The hell wrong with I you? I gotta be protected. We are not in Philly anymore. Okay. You were saying, Jesus. What I was trying to say was, I feel like last time we spoke, or well, the last few times we spoke, um, things have been heated, mm -hmm. and very emotional, and I don't think they were handled the right way. As it pertained to, you know, letting you go in LA. Fire me. Your termination. Um. And even, you know, just the other day when we spoke, I wasn't very happy with the words I said or how I talked to you because I do consider you a friend now. Do you? Yes, I do. Um, and I, and the office cares a lot about you. I, of course, care a lot about you, like I said. And I would love for us to talk about trying to um, find a way to 
Bring it back. Oh, oh wait. What is he saying? Go on, spit it out. What are you saying? Bring you back? What? Bring you back to the company. Um, <laughs> because I did like room you as my protege and I feel like you have a lot of potential. You're right, I do. Yes. Mm, with, some, with some additional training. <laughs> and some new rules and boundaries that we can agree upon. Now don't tell me this little knife done shook you up. Don't tell me you was over there thinking nah, because I brought this nah, knife nah. out. Cut it, okay? Literally. Mm -hmm. Do you want the job or not? Yeah, like seriously. Oh, look at you barking back up my little tree, knocking on my door. Mm -mm. You needed me. Need me. Cool. Cool. Say it. What do you need me? You need me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I appreciated what you brought to the office. Oh, I bet you did. And I appreciated your work ethic. Thank you. And your enthusiasm. <sighs> and you were always willing to learn. And that is hard to find. Exactly. I'm irreplaceable. I'm glad you know that. So is Beyonce. You know what? Well, I really appreciate you asking me and offering the position. Because I really didn't think you'd give a fuck about how I felt. I do. I can be a little cold. And I apologize. And I want to apologize too. You're not a coon. Oh, I know I'm not a coon. Definitely. But I think I'm going to decline. decline. Thank you for the yeah. opportunity. I thank you for it. But maybe this is pointing me in a, a different direction. Mm. So, you know, okay. something better might pop up. Perhaps. Well, thank this you. is good. This is really good. So, we good? Be great? I'm fine. Oh, yes, you are. I'm great. Mm -hmm. uh, anywho. <laughs> okay, so this is good. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, come here. You done went and stole my damn knife thinking you was going to come and cut somebody. Give me a hug. That baby. Hey, now let's get this threesome out of the way. Come on. That actually might be hot. You know what? Oh, he do like girls. I forgot. Oh, no. Look, I know that there are are a lot of things that you're gonna to wanna to say, and there are a lot of things that I wanna say, but I just ask that you let me have a moment to um, just try to get you to understand how I feel right now. Everything that I've done, I've done it because I was concerned. I've done it because for the first time ever, you completely shut me out and I've never judged anything that you've done, but I was scared. I was scared that it was so reckless that I was going to end up losing you and maybe I was selfish, but you are my family. You are the only thing that I've ever had and the only thing that I've ever wanted as far as a family. I don't want for much. I, I love my work. And for me to feel like in this instant that I was losing the only thing that I've regarded to family, it just, it was hard. And so the decisions that I made, I just want you to know that they came from your brother who loves and admires you. I mean, you are one of the few people in the world who could literally be and do whatever they want. You have all the talents that it takes to become successful and I'm just hoping that this can end up being somewhat of a lesson learned and that somehow you can put those talents to good use. I mean, I want you to want more. I recently at the thought of losing my only family, I realized that I want more from a lot of things. And Fallon and I, we're gonna get married. And I see her as my family. 
and I see you as my family and the idea is just growing and I see us maybe having kids and I see you there, I want you to be there, but you have to change. Otherwise, it just can't. There's this thing that I always say about myself. It was that I would never advise you to get in the way of something that I want. Remember that, that quote that I always say? And you, my brother, I don't love you. You crossed me for pussy. When you stand in front of my face and you tell me, your dreams of a daughter, of a son, and me being there with you, there is no family this way. So everything you have to look forward to, plant it over there in your pussy. You're not my blood. You're nothing to me, Clayton. Nothing. You're like your mother. Just like her. The weakest vessel in our union. Disgusting. Oh, and before I let you go, how do you think that your beautiful bride is going to feel knowing she's not the first Mrs. Gore? Oh, you didn't tell her about Leash. You know, Alicia. 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 The one that you were with before, your ex wife, did you tell her? Oh, she's gonna love finding out how that ended. You know what's if a stranger said that to me? A stranger would be better. I'm worse. I'm an enemy. Now get the fuck out of my place. Get out! Just love little cat suits. Okay, let's get serious. Serious. Let's. Okay, so are we gonna plan the funeral arrangements? Okay, I don't. I'm your best friend. I don't want you to stress your little brain. I will plan it. I will pay for it. Wait, no. I need a fee. Not a fact. You can use your bro credit card. Bitch, he's dead. You can just swipe that bitch. Well, there's a change of plans. What you mean, a change of plans? Your brother's upstairs and we had sex last night. Uh, uh, woo! Kept him up all night long, so just keep your voice down. He needs to sleep. What, what the fuck? You had, a, you had sex with a dead man? What no, the? like, he's, you... he's alive. Trust me, he's alive. Because he was, like, flipping me and, like, doing the things. And I was, like, coming back and I was, like, going him. I was, like, woo! I was, like, yay! It's like, woo! So you need to fucking tell me. You had me come from Cali to Easton, live in my luxurious apartment. Really? Uh, yeah, I... He's upstairs alive. After a couple of days ago, you just told me the bitch was dead. I he was know. dead. I was tripping, but thank God he's here, you know? Tripping? Yeah. It are was... you... Wait. <sighs> are you high? Are you popping pills? Are you sniffing that shit? Let me see. No, I'm not, Kiko. You better not. I'm not. Swear to God, because this right here, you acting a little crazy. I'm not used to this shit. I'm not used to it. Well, a dead person upstairs that you fucking ever He's not about? dead. He's well and alive. Oh. We did a lot. Okay, then. I left my blood in my crypts. Um, what's that word? What's that word? Hmm. But. Bilingual? No, not bilingual. Okay. Do you, mm -mm. Bipartisan? Yeah, bipartisan. Yeah. Bipartisan? Yeah. Bipartisan. <laughs> that has to do with Republicans and Democrats. Yeah, I play both sides of the fence. I got a crip and I got a blood. They be fucking me. Sh 
talk to me now. I be like, oh, how oh, do Enough, blow your voice. No, and then please. it's alive and sleep. A dead person. Okay. The dead person needs to be to be quiet. Blow your voice. Oh, come on. He needs some rest. He hasn't been in his bed in a long time. A long time? Yes. Can you well, I'm glad that you're here. Come you, on, you better give be me glad. some love. Give me some give love. Some yes. love. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. But give me some wine, cause uh, just get three bottles, cause I need a, I need yeah. a whole bottle to myself to think and cope with the this. Whole bottle. Yeah. Okay. Something strong. Okay. Wine glass. Not about just leave the glass. Just give me the whole bottle. Coming up. Upstairs. <laughs>